Tonight's big story, a woman behind bars accused of running at an it at home daycare that turned into a nightmare for not one, but two kids. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tramai in for Caribe Divine. This story is tough for some of you to hear. Team 12's Michael Doudna is live from the Alert Center. And Michael, at least one of the two assaulted kids could have been spared. Yeah, that's right, Mark. Maricopa County prosecutors first charged Jacqueline Cantor last November, but rules allowed her to keep running it, putting even more children in danger. Jacqueline Cantor running a daycare from her apartment. You can't regulate every single person in their home. Court documents show Cantor mistreated kids and lied. A young girl going home with scratches under her eyes and a bruise near her genitals. Things like that, that falls under Arizona's definition of child abuse. But less than four months after the first charges of child abuse, Cantor still operated a daycare. If someone is charged and they're released, there's nothing to stop them from committing another crime or the same crime that they've been charged with. And court documents show that it happened again in February. Investigators say Cantor grabbed a young boy's penis, frustrated because he would go to the restroom on her bathroom floor. The paperwork revealing at first Cantor denied the crime, but later confessed during a polygraph test. Attorney Monica Lindstrom says this may have all have been avoided if kids went to a licensed daycare. This second set of charges would never have happened because she would have been fired or the state would have closed her facility down. For Lindstrom, the situation comes down to accountability. In an apartment in South Phoenix, no one was watching the watcher leading to two abuse allegations, while licensed daycares have rules and regulations to follow. There's accountability there, and we want to protect our children. So if a place isn't licensed, then you should be very concerned. Cantor also admits to police that she is in the country illegally. She's expected to be back in court in November and could also face deportation. We're live in the Alert Center. Michael Downer, 12 News at 10.